Good evening. Welcome to Maysville this evening. If you're visiting with us, we're glad to have you with us. And uh, if you wouldn't mind filling out one of the, the blue cards on the pew backs, we'd like to have a record of your attendance with us. And if you have just a few minutes afterwards, please stick around so that we can meet you and make you feel welcome here at Maysville. Song of encouragement this evening will be number 517. 517, if you want to mark that before our devotional period. Also, we mentioned uh, that this past Sunday, if you have any youth information, uh, please get that to Seth or Jill Bowen uh, tonight. That was the deadline uh, for the youth information, so please see Seth or Jill as soon as you can. Also, announcement turned in, uh, the Madison County High School soccer team is selling pork tenderloins uh, for $20. Uh, the pickup date for this is April the 14th at uh, the school, Madison County. And if you'd like one, please see Johnya or Zach Hawkins. And the deadline to order one of these pork tenderloins is uh, this coming Sunday. And I know a lot of us will be out of pocket for lads, uh, but Sunday night uh, we all reassemble here. Uh, we'll be fine. See Johnya or Zach for that. And also, as I mentioned, several of us will be out of pocket for lads to leaders this weekend. So please keep uh, the traveling in your prayers and uh, a safe trip back here when it's over. We mentioned that if you, uh, you're graduating from high school or college this year, uh, we do need some uh, information from you with some photos, about 10 or 12 pictures. And if you can please get the information and photos in to Betty Hall as soon as possible, we need to make preparations for uh, the graduate uh, appreciation dinner, which is scheduled for May the 20th uh, here at Maysville. And also coming up in May as well, uh, the 6th of the 9th, we have our uh, gospel meeting. Uh, Brother Jim Dimmerman will be our speaker. And again, that's May 6th through the 9th. We mentioned uh, several this past Sunday on our uh, sick and recovery list. Uh, David Robinson doing a uh, so-so in Nashville. Okay, all right, so please keep Brother David Robinson and his family uh, in our prayers right now and uh, several that are, are still recovering. Again, Song of Encouragement, number 517. Uh, Brother Dan Harbin will have our closing prayer. Brother Tim, we'll turn it over to you. Five hundred seventeen. We're going to sing in just a moment. Very first words of that song. Oh, do not let the word depart and close thine eyes against the light. Poor sinner, harden not thy heart. Be saved, oh, tonight. The Gospel of Mark at the conclusion of the text. Mark chapter 16, verse 15, records the words of Jesus where he said, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved. He that does not believe shall be condemned. The word of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I suppose we could say, is one of the most powerful forces that has ever been unleashed upon the world. It has the power not only to destroy the condemnation of the Lord, Jesus said is more fearful than anything that could be done physically. The Lord said, don't fear those who can only destroy the body, but fear him who can destroy the body and cast your soul into hell. But that power was not intended to be destructive. It was intended to bring about life. One of the other most famous passages of Scripture that you have known probably from a child, that God so loved the world that He gave His only, His beloved Son, that whoever would believe in Him should not perish but have eternal life. The word of the gospel then was spread by the apostles beginning in Acts chapter 2 and throughout the world. That word the word of Christ, the word of the message of salvation is able to save us from our sins. If we will believe in the power of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, be baptized for the remission of sins, confessing our faith in Jesus, changing our lives in repentance, Jesus says you'll be saved. It may be tonight that you're here and... A change in your life is needed. The petition of our song then is for you. Don't let the word depart. 
be saved tonight. If tonight you have a need spiritually that we can assist you with, we invite you to come while we stand and sing. before we dismissed in prayer. <clears throat> Might mention this tonight for our uh, lads and leaderettes, the bus list. We need to firm that up tonight. It's posted out there, but see Pam or myself, uh, if it's not on there for sure, so we can be accurate about that as we can as it leaves tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock. <clears throat> I'm not ashamed to hold my Lord or to defend it. Thank you for the time that we've had to come here and learn from your word tonight. I pray that we will take this lesson, the lessons that we've learned here tonight, and apply them to our lives. We pray that we will continue to do your work throughout the week, that we won't just put you to the back of our minds and live our lives as Sunday-only Christians. We pray that you'll be with those who are sick or recovering and others who are shut in and just unable to get out and come to worship pray that you'll help help us this week to spread your word to someone who who needs it pray that you'll be with those who are leaving this weekend for lads to leaders pray that you'll give them a safe journey there and a safe journey back we pray that now you'll go with us as we had our separate ways they will keep us safe and bring us back at the next appointed time. In Jesus' name, amen.